on fire! Ah. Oh no! A bike's on fire! If only I checked my electrical connectors. Oh, who can help me? Never fear, power sports enthusiasts, for it is I. Commander Connector from RM Stater's Echo Squad, the electrical connector help operatives. I can tell that this fire was caused by old corroded connectors. With knowledge of RM Stater's connector circle of death and proper application of RM Stater's electrical connector kits and tools, you can be back on the road in no time. Hey, I'm Evan, Head of Engineering for RM Stator. Uh, as you learn from Commander Connector, it's super important to maintain the connectors on your motorcycle. They can cause lots of problems. So we're going to talk about crimping on terminals for connectors and basically how to repair a connector that's too far gone to save. So here we have our uh, uh, this is a common Stator connector here. Um, and this one's well used. It's not totally failed, but we're going to pretend like it's too far gone to save. So. As you saw from our other video about depinning the terminals, I've already done that. So here's our uh, wire. Let's pretend this is a wire coming from the stator's wiring harness and we just want to replace the whole connector on the bike. So to do that, we basically need to cut off our old terminals and we're going to crimp on new ones. So you can get RM Stator's complete connector kits here that come with all the common connectors used on stators and voltage regulators. And this is a really good cost effective way to have um, all these extra parts around so you can easily repair your bike. So I've removed the old one. So if we still had this on the bike, um, we can just repair it there without removing anything else. I'm going to cut off the old terminal. Okay, and then I'm going to strip back about a quarter inch of the insulation. I'm just using some wire cutters here to do it. And then I'm going to twist up the end of the wire so it's tight. Okay, so the way this works, here's our arm stator crimping tool. Now this is a double crimp tool. It's going to crimp in two locations on these kind of terminals. Um, one is to hold the wire and the other crimps around the insulation to keep it locked in place. So if you look inside the tool here, you can see that there's two sets of ridges that are different heights, um, and that's where the, the terminal sits in place. So basically, I'm going to set it in place, pushing the open end up into the crimper, and I'm going to put light pressure on it to hold the terminal in place. I also want to make sure that it's pulled all the way forward, uh, which will seat it correctly. Okay, so I got that in place. I'm going to insert my wire into the terminal and make sure that the insulation is sitting just inside the uh, back of the terminal and then crimp down with the tool and let go and it'll release so I cut my wire a little too long here but that's okay um, it, it would should be a little shorter so it doesn't stick up into the terminal here but you can see that the back crimp is folded over onto the insulation that locks it in place and the front crimp is folded over onto the wire, which makes a good solid connection. So most motorcycle and power sports connectors use terminals that will work with this crimper. Um, all the terminals in our kits do. And then once you're done, you can install it in your new um, connector. So here, I look at the front, the locking tab, you can see here is a little notch cut out in the bottom. This connector or this terminal has a locking tab. I'm going to slide them in place till it clicks and pull on it to make sure it's tight. So there you go. That's how you would replace the terminal using our crimping tool and our connector kits and install it into your new connector. And then you also want to use your dielectric grease on a brand new connection. Make sure you get some inside the face of the terminal there. And that way when you install it, that provides a, a moisture barrier and it prevents any future corrosion. So doing that will completely repair your connectors with brand new parts and make sure you have the best connection possible.